Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. In this video, I am going to show you how to export different kinds of files from Vector.com, which is a program that allows you to, that is free, and it's a vector-based program like Adobe Illustrator. For those of y'all that are in the graphic industry or know Illustrator, it's a free program that's going to allow you to export what you create as a SVG, uh, PNG, JPEG, or a vector. Okay, so, you know, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. A PNG is a Portable Network Graphics, and then JPEG is a uh, I think it's called a Joint Photographic Export Group, uh, which is similar to a, uh, you know, a TIFF, but with this, it compresses, so it turns a, 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 a TIFF file into a much smaller file, depending on, uh, depending on what scale you reduce it then uh, it you know it reduces the file each one of these files have their own char characteristics and I'm going to try to explain to you when and how you would use them for those of y'all that don't uh, understand these things I, I hope I make sense I uh, it's really simple if you've done this before but I know it could be a little confusing so let's get to it okay so um, so this is a, um, I have a lot of programs going on, so there you go. So it, it's going to take my computer uh, longer to work. So <clears throat> this is a, uh, a file that I created. Here is text. Here is their shapes. Okay, and or you could even use a pen tool and create these things. These things are called um, vector images. Just like the text, the text is also a vector, which a, a, a vector is basically, I hope this makes sense, uh, it might not, but okay, so a vector is a, um, let me see how to, it's a mathematical defined image of points and curves. Okay, so versus an image, an image is a rasterized image, which is, um, it's a bunch of po points, okay, and when you enlarge, then it it kind of loses the 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 smoothness of the image, and you'll see it once I convert these things into Illustrator. I'm gonna use Word, Illustrator, and uh, you know other programs like um, uh, let's say Debut, which is a software that I'm actually using to record this. So let's get to it. So. I created this image and I'm going to export it into different kinds of uh, images. Okay, so first, using vector.com, you can create a new, you know, you can create a, <clears throat> a um, an account or you can use this for free. Versus, if you use Adobe Illustrator, you're going to pay $500 a year. Okay, so. So we have an, a file that has graphics, vector, and text, and we're going to save it in different kinds of formats. And to do that in this program is you would click here and export right here, right? So we're going to do one of each. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to uh, export it as a SVG. 
and we're not going to change any settings, okay? We're going to just save it as 72 DPI, which is for web. So I'm going to download it. In a minute, you'll see it. You'll see that uh, right in here, right? See right in here? So it exported as a, a I named it ABCDEF as a file. And this one is .svg. And I'll show you where to find it in a minute. So the next one we're going to do is a PNG. Okay. Then I'm going to download it. And now you see ABCDEF.png. And then the last one we're going to do is a JPEG. And we're going to download it. And you're going to see ABCDEFG.jpg. Now, there's also one more called BECTR, which is its uh, original file, which I've already saved, so there's no sense in saving it. Okay, now, so now that we've exported these images, <clears throat> I am going to go in, click here, and tell it to show in folder. Okay, so this is the folder that the images were saved. It's like a, a, a download, you know, the download uh, folder. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all three of those, and I'm just going to stick it into my uh, desktop, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so, <clears throat> so now I have it on my desktop, right? So what I'm going to do is bring this over to a different uh, monitor. So uh, it'll be easier for me to uh, explain it uh, and, and for me to bring it into different uh, software programs. So we're going to open up Word. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Word because with Word, you can actually bring these images where some programs are not going to allow you to do this. Now, depending on which format you save, is going to take it longer. Because first of all, some of them are bigger in file, and some of them are more complicated. So let's go ahead and bring the fastest one, which would be the, uh, the lowest image size, right? So that's going to be your PNG. So if I left click, drag it into this Word document. You see how fast it took it to import? Uh, now I'm going to do a JPEG. A JPEG is a, a bigger file, bigger than a PNG, and it'll take just a few more seconds to import. So I'm going to drag it. And you really can't see that much difference, but um, it did take it a little bit. Now you're SVG, if I click, drag it, look how long it take, takes it to uh, import. You see, did you see that? It took a while. Now let me show you the difference of all three of these images. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to create a, um, a box and I'm going to color it uh, red. So, uh, so I'm just going to create a rectangle. Okay, and then that rectangle, I'm going to fill it with uh, uh, red. Well, you know what? I don't see a lot of yellow in there, so I can go ahead and do yellow. But I do see some that are similar. Well, I see yellow. So let's go ahead and do red like I first uh, initially thought I was going to do. Now, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go into my image, and I'm going to tell this image I change the format of not the format of it but how it acts in uh, in um, work because look if I drag try to drag this one you see it doesn't let me if I try to drag this one it doesn't let me so what I'm doing in I'm going in and changing its properties so that I can actually drag and put it on top of this uh, uh, 
rectangle that I created. So I'm going to do the last one. And and I, I have videos about this in, in, uh, in Microsoft uh, Word. So, okay, so here are the images. And now we're going to talk about uh, a rest, a rasterized image vector. Okay, so <clears throat> this one here, this one I can tell that it is a JPEG. A JPEG is similar to a PNG, and um, so I'm going to move this over, bring this one close to this one's because those two are similar in their characteristics. But as you can see, remember, this is a JPEG. This is a PNG. The difference between those is that you can see that that um, JPEG has a white background. And the PNG is transparent. What you see white, you can see right through because you can see the red behind it, right? Now, if you notice, I'm going to enlarge these areas, and you can see that these are rasterized. Now, when I bring it into Adobe Illustrator, uh, when we start talking about rasterization, it, you, um, Microsoft Word doesn't rasterize it, it fills in pixels, whereas Adobe Illustrator is not going to do that. So let, let's open up Adobe Illustrator and let's do the same thing. Let's create a, uh, a document. New. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Now here, you're going to see that it's going to take a lot longer here. So first, we're going to do what would probably not take that long would be a JPEG. So if I drag a JPEG in here, you see how fast that did it, right? Now we're going to do a PNG as we did in uh, Word. And let's see how long. That, that still didn't take that long. Now, when we're going to do this dot svg I drag it look how long it takes it takes a while so what it's doing an SVG is a vector based uh, image so it's converting it from the uh, vector.com to Adobe Illustrator, which, which are the, basically the same program. You know, it's a vector-based program. Once this finish, you're going to see that the image is going to be high quality. The vector and the text are going to be high quality. So give me a second. And then uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this further explains about rasterization. It makes more sense by looking at in uh, Adobe Illustrator versus uh, Microsoft Word. Now, while that's doing that, what we can also do is go and uh, talk about this program is called, um, let me see, it's called, uh, let me see, it's, it's made by Debut. It's a software that allows you to uh, edit some of your um, recordings, okay? And here, you can, you, you know, you can bring in JPEGs, okay, so I'm going to bring in a JPEG, uh, actually it's not letting me because it's still trying to do that other uh, import, L let me go ahead and do that one first, okay, 
I got a bunch. Uh, it took a while because I had a bunch of different. Um, uh, <clears throat> I got a bunch of programs working, so it didn't bring it into the same page, right? It brought it. Actually, it did. But so let me show you the difference between these three. Okay, so if you enlarge this area, you see how this is rasterized. These are composed of dots. That's what rasterization is. And a vector is points. If you go in here, you can see that these things are uh, nothing but points. Okay? So that's the difference between a rasterized image and a vector. So if you in, enlarge this area, look how smooth this is. Look how smooth this is. So when you go in into a rasterized image, you see it's pixelized. It's a bunch of little squares. So that's why I brought it into Adobe Illustrator to show you uh, what pixelization does. No matter how large I enlarge the vector, it will always be very smooth. So I'm going to close this so it gives me more memory in my uh, program. Okay, so, and let me close that. I'm going to tell it no. Okay, so um, now we're back into Microsoft uh, Word. Again, remember, If I enlarge this right here, you see I'm enlarging it. You see how smooth it is? Versus if I enlarge this one, it becomes more blurrier or uh, more pixelized. Okay, so that is the difference of those two programs. Now, uh, let me see here. So, yeah, and also look at the images. When I export it, like I said, I know the difference of these images just by looking at them because a JPEG will have a white background, a PNG will have a clear background, but it's still rasterizes the image and a um, SVG will have a real smooth edge to anything that's uh, straight uh, like a solid right now here's the problem with all three of these images each one of them has different sizes when you save them. Some of them can become real, real large. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between them in uh, uh, megabytes or uh, k-byte sizes. So, I'm going to bring this thing back into this monitor here. And so, the first one, let me put them in the order in which uh, how, uh, how uh, big they are. Okay, so first, I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to go to properties. This one here is a JPEG, which is 52K, right? I'm going to right click, go to properties, and this one here is 57K. Okay, so now we go to the SVG, go to properties, and that one. Is gonna be, oh actually it's smaller 20 megabytes now <clears throat> keep in mind the SVG had a smoother well first it was vector so it looked real smooth and the image was clear now your JPEG and your uh, PNG were more rasterized the image were bigger. Now one of them had a transparency and the other one didn't, but your SVG had transparency. It was high quality 
and it even had a smaller megabyte. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I, I, I always have a bunch of explanations on a lot, bunch of different programs. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to me and I will try to explain different things uh, in different programs. Again, thank you for watching my video. You have a nice day.